everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalie here and today I am coming to you guys with a fitness video and just a way to kind of help you guys develop a fitness routine and I have been getting so many comments about this. So ever since I have been kind of doing these Week in My Life's and Weekend in My Life's which Side note, if you haven't checked them out, definitely do so, and if you want to keep watching some more of them, subscribe to this channel. I have been getting so many comments because in those videos I show you guys when I go to the gym. I basically go to the gym five to six times every week, so I show that to you guys, and a lot of you guys have been asking me for a fitness routine, how I got in shape, anything like that, and I'm so excited because I love filming these like fitness and healthy eating and just like uplifting videos because I feel like fitness and eating healthy come in hand with being uplifting so I'm really excited and before I continue talking be sure to subscribe if you're new here follow me on Instagram if you want to see any updates of mine and then without further ado let's just get into the video so the way this video is gonna work is I'm gonna have it set up so one's gonna be fitness and then one is going to be food related I'm just gonna get started with tip number one it is to stop buying junk foods this is like the very first year that I've truly stuck to it and I know it's still January but I really have been very strict on myself so me and my roommate have started eating together and shopping for food together just because it's cheaper and it helps so that things don't go bad but we both have been on a mission to stop eating like crap so we don't buy potato chips we don't buy chips and salsa anymore and I love salsa but I know that if I have salsa in my fridge I'm gonna eat a whole bag of tortilla chips with it so <laughs> I don't buy that anymore I try not to buy much like candy or mainly my weakness is potato chips in a lot honesty and like frozen food and mac and cheese oh my goodness I have just stopped buying that completely because if it's in my pantry and in my fridge I am going to eat it so I have been trying to find healthier alternatives so instead of potato chips for example you can buy popcorn and popcorn still gives you that crunch it still basically kind of tastes like potato chips except it's so much better for you another thing is if you're wanting just like a crunch or something like that keep your fridge stocked with vegetables seriously I know that that sounds so like lame but but even if you want to add ranch to it, which is not healthy, but just like a little tiny bit, if that's really the way to get you to eat your veggies, then do it. Keep broccoli, red peppers, green peppers, pickles, oh, my favorite. You know, so just keep those in your fridge so that you can snack on those instead of snacking on something else that's a lot worse for you. Another thing that I like to switch out is this whole year I am going soda free. So I don't, I'm not a heavy soda drinker, but every like week or so I'll drink at least like one soda probably every two weeks so I am now pledging to cut soda out of my diet for this whole year and hopefully for good but starting with a year giving myself actually realistic goals so instead of soda which I sometimes crave like crazy I have been just drinking sparkling water or carbonated water you can get lacroix you can get like the sunny has sparkling water literally anything but sparkling water is not bad for you at all so that is definitely what I have been doing and it really helps me get that like carbonation that I'm wanting at that moment. The second thing is to wake up early so that you can get a workout in. And I know I say this in literally every video, but it is probably my most important tried and true one of these fitness tips. And you guys wanted to know how I have gotten into shape and this is seriously number one. I used to work out at night, like after my classes and after I've done everything for the day, but that's kind of like prioritizing your workout last. So if you're tired, if you have extra homework and you can't work out, it's kind of like, ah, oh well, I'm too busy. You wake up an hour earlier than you normally do, you literally have no excuses because you wouldn't even be up at that time. So just get it out of the way. You also feel so accomplished and so much better about yourself after you finish a workout and it's like 8 a.m. Seriously, you guys, it's one of the greatest feelings and I know it takes a while to get used to. No one wants to get up early to work out. Like that, I don't like want to do that. But after a while, you really do get into the routine and you get used to it and then you're gonna start feeling better and you're kinda gonna wanna keep going and keep doing it and after a week or two weeks or even three weeks, you are going to just it's gonna be routine. You're gonna do it, you're gonna feel great, and you're not gonna wanna stop, so. The next tip is to drink more water, and I know this sounds also like another one that a lot of people say, but for me, if I'm ever feeling hungry and I'm just like, what the heck, I literally just finished eating, I drink some water because most likely that means I'm thirsty. So, keep a water bottle with you at all times, keep a like one that you can keep refilling. Also, I have an app, it's called Waterminder. You don't need to get it. It's actually, I think like $3. I really don't know why I paid money for it, but I paid money for it. So if you wanna get it, I mean, I like it, but I'm sure that there's free ones out there. And it just reminds me to drink water and you can record how much you drink and it has like a little 
thing that shows you how much you're drinking throughout the day. I don't know. It's a cool app. I really like it. But get something like that to keep you accountable for how much water you're drinking because a lot of times when you do think you're hungry, you're actually thirsty. And I have gone days, I feel like, without, or I've gone like a whole day without ever drinking water. And I'm just like, wait, what? Like how, how did I do that? So the next thing is to mix up your workout routine. So I know a lot of people say that they don't like working out because it's boring. They don't, they're not excited to work out. And I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I'm that annoying person that's like really excited to get my workout in because I love what I'm about to do. For example, later today I'm going to a yoga class and I absolutely love hot yoga. Like I truly do enjoy hot yoga. That gets me excited. I want to go to that class. I went to a cycling class the other day. I love cycling classes and it gets me excited to go. For me, I have really, really liked Orange Theory. Love it. I like cycling classes a lot. I like going to like cardio, like HIIT classes. Um, I really love hot yoga. Like that's like one of my favorite things to do. But just switch it up. So don't, if you don't like cycling, and too, not everyone likes cycling. For example, my mom, she hates hot yoga and she hates cycling. Me and her, we're not compatible in that sense. But she does other things that gets her excited. So definitely, definitely, if you're feeling kind of stuck in a rut and you're tired of running on the treadmill, you do not have to run on the treadmill to get results. I don't remember the last time I ran on a treadmill. Like, I barely ever, ever, ever use the treadmill. So the next one is to start planning your meals. And I'm not necessarily talking about meal prepping. You can do that and that's great. But I don't want to give you advice that I don't do. I normally don't meal prep. I don't make like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday like box of food, but I, whenever I cook, I make extra food so that I can store it. So just for my next few meals, however long the leftovers last, I have something healthy to eat. So for example, in my fridge, I have rice, beans, vegetables and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just like rice beans and a bunch of vegetables in a bowl kind of like a burrito bowl And I have been eating that for the past like three days or something like that And it normally lasts me about three meals So it's enough to not get me super bored of that food But because I made extra of it and it's sitting in my fridge It is so easy for me to just heat it up and eat it versus me having to remake it And then normally when we're busy we choose to eat crappy food So the other one is to buy cute workout clothes So this one you're probably like um it's not gonna help me get in shape, but maybe psychologically the way I think, um, again, I'm using all of these from my own experiences, but the way I think is that if you have cute workout clothes, you're gonna wanna go and show them off. Do you not? Like when I have a cute outfit, I cannot wait to go out and show it off. Like I hate when I'm wearing a cute outfit and no one sees it, it's literally the worst. So when I buy a cute workout outfit, I want to show it off. And where do you show out workout clothes? When you're working out, at the gym, at a workout class, something like that. So whenever you have cute workout class, work, at when, the I cannot talk. When you buy cute workout clothes and you want to wear them, you are going to wear them to the gym. And don't use this as buying cute workout clothes and wearing them at home and wearing it to class and then sitting back in your lazy bed. No, but actually put them to use. So it's kind of like a rewarding yourself, but also, I mean, for me, if I'm gonna wear something cute, I'm gonna wear it out and I want people to see me in it. The next one is to start slowly taking things out of your diet. So like I said, to stop buying junk food, I think that is a pretty easy thing for me to do kind of like cold turkey. But if you don't want to do it cold turkey, then start slowly taking things out. So another example is I have wanted to stop drinking cow's milk. I don't, I'm not a vegan. I still eat meat. I still will drink dairy or eat dairy in some things. But in general, as a whole, I have been trying to cut out cow's milk as much as I can because I don't like the way it makes me feel. So I have, instead of going to Starbucks and just ordering my latte with regular milk, I have been subbing that for coconut milk. It does take a little while to get used to for me because I used to drink milk like every single day, but now I like love coconut milk and I don't even miss my old Starbucks order. So if you just start slowly taking things out of your diet, like I stopped buying cheese in my fridge, so we have like some cheese, but not really. I've started buying vegan cheese. I've started buying vegan butter. So when I do try to eat like vegan, I'll try subbing it for that, you know, like I, I'm not a vegan. I'm not considering myself a vegan by any means, but I do like limiting my dairy intake and I have been slowly doing it and now I don't really miss cow's milk or dairy or anything like that. So even if you feel like you can't do something right away, like it's too hard, you don't have to. That's the great thing about a fitness journey. You take things at your own pace. So whether that's instead of drinking a glass of milk five times a week, start drinking it three times a week and then slowly you'll start drinking it twice and then never. That's how you wean off of things. Cold turkey I know is so hard and I don't do that really with much. So if you just wean off 
off of it, that's even a huge improvement. And in a couple months or a year from now, you will see how far you have come. So the next thing is probably something that has helped me a ton. It's helped me actually quite a bit is to use a workout program. So I feel like for me personally, I didn't start going to the gym. I never went to my school gym until junior year of college, which was last year. So I never even stepped foot in the free gym that is accessible to us at NC State because I was scared. And I know a lot of you guys feel the same exact way. So I was terrified because I feel like it's only like big macho guys that go there or like girls that are super fit and like, like ripped. And I'm just sitting there like, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what these machines do. I don't, I don't know how to like lift weights. Like what? I got a workout program and the workout program I'm using is the sweat by Kayla. So it is the BBG bikini body guide 12 week program. And I have been on and off of it for quite a while. Like I've always gone up to like eight weeks and then I've stopped and like done something else. And then like seven weeks and I've stopped and done something else. I'm about to finish my 12th week, you guys, which is like the first part of the program. Like the first 12 weeks is like the huge milestone so I'm so proud of myself but I have been using that the sweat by Kayla app it's so amazing it tells you exactly what to do shows you a video of how to do it and it's simple enough that you're not gonna be scared or anything and I have been absolutely loving it it has been completely what has transformed my body and if I wasn't for that program I really think I'd just be running on the treadmill and getting so bored and stopping and then restarting and stopping and restarting and stopping and restarting and you guys get it so get with the program <laughs> Whether it's the Kayla app or anything else, I also like Nike Training Club, but I like something that tells me what to do because I honestly feel like I don't know what to do when I'm not using something. And the next thing is to give yourself a little bit of mercy. So this one is so important because I sometimes get wrapped up in this, I'm not gonna lie. So if you want to eat a big burger and fries and you're gonna start like hating yourself for eating it and like getting so mad at yourself and being so down all day because you ate a burger and fries, that's not okay, that's not healthy for your mental state, that's not good. Instead, just be like, you know what? Yeah, I ate a burger, yeah, I ate fries and it tasted freaking amazing. But I'm not gonna eat that for every single meal because that's not my lifestyle. I'm not going to treat my body that way. But I'm not, I know that that was my one cheat meal, second cheat meal, whatever it is. Give yourself mercy, pick yourself. Don't like let yourself get down for what you eat. It's okay to have a piece of cake. It's okay to have a burger and fries. It's okay to go out to cook out and get a cookout tray because you know what? I did that last weekend, but seriously, give yourself a little bit of mercy. It's okay if you break your diet one day or anything like that. Like, that's fine. You're gonna live, you're gonna survive, and your body is going to be fine. Treat and the next one is to listen to your body. So if you feel like you're literally going to pass out and throw up while you're working out, sit down, give yourself a break, take a lap, let yourself breathe and stop working out because you need to listen to your body. There's a, a difference from wanting to pass out and throwing up and feeling like you can't do it anymore and just being like, gosh, I'm so tired, oh, this sucks. That second feeling, that's when you push harder. The first feeling though, you need to stop and listen to your body and give your body rest. It's fine if you miss a week of going to the gym because your body needs rest. For example, when you're sick, when you have the flu, don't force yourself to work out. That is your body telling you I need to rest and you need to listen to it. I just want you guys to know that some people I think get so wrapped up and like, oh my gosh, I need to work out. I'm, I can't believe I'm sick. Like I'm still gonna go to the gym. I'll, I'll like walk on the treadmill. Why? Why just rest? Give your body this time. You're sick and you need to do that. So that is something that I feel like is so like lost in the lines when people are trying to get on their fitness journey. They think that they can't miss a week or they can't skip a week or even if they get sick, they have to keep going. And that's so not true. Oh Those are my 10 tips and I really hope that you guys like them because I loved thinking of these and I really have used all of these tips. I've been trying to drink more water. I've been cutting out veggies and I wanted to ask, or cutting out veggies. Oh no, no, I've been adding veggies. I also wanted to ask you guys if you guys wanted any other of these fitness videos, I guess, but I had some ideas like what I eat in a day, grocery haul, or fitness routine, or gym routine, anything like that. Let me know in the comments below and really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I loved, loved, loved making it for you guys. I hope that you guys get on your way to your fitness journey. Send me your before and after pictures too so that we can motivate each other. <laughs> so you can tweet them to me, DM me on Instagram, anything like that. But I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.